I think we're going to try to wrap up this piano relatively quickly in this video. And I'm going to cut a few corners. Um, I'm not going to model all the keys in this video. I've done it in two MIDI keyboards before and in the grand piano. So um, I've also provided uh, diagrams of keyboards in those ones. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just actually grab the keys uh, from one of those models and put them in. Um, and I'm also going to do some old-fashioned uh, foot pedals for this. And I'm also going to cut some corners on the uh, the fall board that goes down over the keys. So I think first of all we'll uh, do something with those pedals. I'll show you what I had in mind. I'm just going to select that edge down there and shift S cursor to selected. So my 3D cursor is right there and I'm going to bring in a cube and scale it nicely down. Zoom right in and let's start working on this. I'm going to scale in the Z like that. Let's bring this out. Let's see, it goes to there. Let's grab this front face and pull it out some more. And then I'm going to scale this in the X. Make it like that. <clears throat> and that's kind of what I had in mind. I'll do a little bit more on this. I'm going to add a bevel of two. Scale it back. Two around there. And then I'm going to bring in a plane. Rotate X90. And scale that. And I'll make what would seem to be like a hole that the pedal would fit in. Like a hole. Scale in the Z. And scale in the X. Give it some depth. And actually, I think I'll come out a bit more for that and I'll do some adjustments. Um, with that, I am then going to do a bevel like this and then inset and something like that. And then I will uh, extrude in. And that might be it. <clears throat> Let's see how she looks with the bevel on it. Let's try smoothing and see what that's like. That's not bad. Um, maybe I'll hit I there and not smooth that inside there. I'm not going to see it very close up, so um, we'll scale it in the X though. But I would like it a little taller in the Z. Let's look from the front and see. Okay, so that kind of thing. And then this is right there. Maybe I'll make this a little thicker. Okay, I'm going to take that and that. And look from the front, Shift D. I'm going to copy one over. And I'm going to copy another one over. And I'll take all of it and I'll center it based on that middle one. And from a distance, hopefully that'll, that'll look okay. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to do some work up here, but maybe I'll bring the, those keys in. And so I'm going to open up the part four of the grand piano. And I've labeled this part of the object as keys and it's got the black and the white keys and I'm not sure I'm going to add material so all I need to do is uh, take them from here. Alright so actually I go back to my part here and then I click append and I'm going to make sure that I've got the right file open here. Grand Piano Part 4, go into objects, find keys and just append from library and then it comes in there. All right, now we need to center this up. And we'll need to scale. So I'm just going to scale in object mode. And keep scaling till I think I got them. Let's start bringing them down. Let's uh, scale a little bit in the Z, make them a bit taller. 
and we'll look from the front and we'll try to get this to position a little bit better. We're going to scale on the X, I'm going to hold shift to about there. Now I'm going to be doing something with the back. I think I'm going to scale them in the Y just a little bit, just like that. Let's take off any materials that came uh, with those. All right, so I got that there. That was easy. And it uh, came in with its, be with its bevel. Okay, great. Now I'm going to take this piece here. I think I'm going to reuse that. Shift D. I'm going to bring it up. And I'm going to bring it back. I just want to get a sense for how this would look. If that was here and a little bit higher. Like that. I do like that. It's the same curvature, and I hope that's not a problem. <coughs> I think I'll look from the side and in wireframe, and uh, in edit mode, I think I'll go in and I'll um, now I'll just take this back part. And I'll pull it in just like that. So that piece could be there. And then what I would do is um, I'll select that and uh, go origin of geometry and shift S cursor to selected. I'm going to bring in a plane, rotate X90, bring it out to maybe about there. And we'll grab this edge, bring it down to here, and this edge just in behind to about there. Let's try scaling it in the X, just out to there. Okay, so it's going to have to go back a little bit further, like there. And I don't really think I need any thickness on it, just something like this, right? So what if I take this and pull it back just a bit more? A little bit of room in behind those keys and bring them back a little bit like that. Let's have a quick look at one of these and we'll see how far they come out. There's a little bit of space here. I think I've got maybe too much space, but I've got these here. Let's try pulling all that out there and this out a little bit more and then maybe this I'll do like that. Okay, and this is like just a little compartment that could come down and so what I'll do is set the origin of geometry. And we'll bring in, actually I don't need to, I can just use this plane. I'm just going to copy the Shift D, pull it out, and in edit mode, scale this in the X. So it's roughly a square, and in the Z we'll make it smaller, and in the X, not too small though. Let's zoom in on this, E, make sure my polys are flipped the right way. And that piece would sort of go there and be like a little lock. I don't think I'm going to do a lot of detail on it. That's still, still too big. I'll show you what I had in mind. Let's just scale globally and in the X. Okay, let's um, origin geometry again. Shift S cursor selected. And we'll set the rotation and scale. Pull that back to here. And I will um, select this face and let's try actually, um, let's do an edge loop there, an edge loop there, 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 and there. So I get like a circle type thing. So I got that. So I'm going to take these two points and scale them in the Z, and these two points and scale them in the X, 
and then in face selection I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to extrude in and I'll scale a bit too okay um, yeah let's try let's try a bevel on that and let's see what smoothing looks like no I don't really need smoothing okay I'll make this uh, a little bit more like that, and then I'll scale it globally a little bit more. Just a small little detail on there, and it can actually go up a little bit higher. It may not be very visible, but that would be like a little key thing or some kind of a key that would open this area and it would fall down. You could look inside or put things in there or whatever. Um, and so that's that stuff. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to do something about this top. Uh, I need to cut it in half because if you look on the side view in wireframe, you see there's a cut right here. And so this is a bit odd. Um, maybe I'll take off the subdivision surface and just uh, have a look. It's, you know, it's still worth doing. So maybe what I'll do is I'll select that top. Let's try Control L. Yeah, it gets everything, eh? Okay. Um, maybe I'll see if I can paint everything on top. Yeah, that's going to be a little tough. Let's see if, see what I get from the sides, if anything. All right. And then control plus down. Just want to see how far. I want to separate this out. I just want to see uh, when I get if that's too much. Just that. I'm going to go P and separate it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take that and I'm going to hide it. Oh, I guess I hit the top. All right. Now I need to do some work on this. And this is going to take a bit, um, a bit of time. So I'm going to select these edges I put in and go X, Dissolve Edges. And any edge that is not the main edge of the box, <clears throat> I am going to dissolve and get rid of and then put a top on this. Okay, let's uh, remove any doubles. Uh, nothing. Well, I better come down to the bottom here. No, I don't. I don't really need to do that. Uh, but I want to see if I've left behind some vertices, and I bet you I have. Well, maybe I shouldn't bet you. All right, I'll just put a face on there, and then I'll put some edge loops, and I'll put back that subdivision surface. So I'll go one there, and put a couple across here, scale those in the Y, and see how we're doing. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, there, yeah. Okay, so we need to do more, so we'll, we'll come up to the near the top with that one, near the bottom. I think I had one down near the bottom. Anyhow, we might have to add more, as you can see here. So we'll just grab these. Uh, let me do that again. With the large surfaces like this, sometimes you have to do more than one. I'm okay with that. Um, but where do I, I'll come. I'm going to come in. Uh, I'm going to do another one here. Let's just pull that in. That in. That's another couple here, one over here, and one over here. And that should just about do it for that region. Okay, so I'm going to hide. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to hide that. I'll uh, bring back the top, and I'm going to uh, Shift H just to isolate that. And we'll also set the origin of geometry and cursor to that. Now, this thing, I'm going to do the same. I want to get rid of everything. And I want to cut it. So let's just let's just go to it. There's a lot of edges here. Uh, hope I got that. Okay, that's good. Dissolve edges, and I think we're back to where we were. <clears throat> right? Cool. So I'm gonna look from the side, and I'm just going to put in an edge loop there. Yep from the top now 
And in wireframe, uh, well, I, had, I had another edge there, did I? Solve edges, that was a good way to do it anyhow. I'm gonna delete uh, these vertices. And let me just have a look at this, it's gonna be open, right? Okay, uh, I have to make a face there. And let's just go ahead and uh, throw in some edge loops because I'm gonna need them. Scale them in the Y. And this way. Scale them in the X. Not too much. Like that. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll see how it looks. And we'll come up like that and down like that. Okay. Thought I saw something, maybe not. Let's look from the top and let's just take this, Shift D, and pull one up. I think I'm coming out a little bit more. Not sure how visible that is. I can pull them apart more. And then what I thought I would do is, uh, the cursor is still there. Let's select both of these and shift S, cursor selected. Now I thought I would get it right in the middle. I guess I didn't. Um, why didn't that happen? Set origin to geometry. All right, that's better. Uh, let's bring in a cylinder. I can make it, gee, I can make it 20 if I wanted to. Uh, let's rotate Y90. And in edit mode, notice the the ends are end gone. So I may not worry about that. Let's scale this in the X. I'll bring it up a bit and we'll have a look. Yeah, still. Okay, so scale shift X. Ah. And let's go, let's go like this, origin and geometry, that's better. And this. And I'm gonna make some kind of like fake hinges on this. And so we'll go in and I'll throw in maybe three edge loops and control B like that. And then I'll just hit E and Alt S, pull it, pull it in not too much though, like that maybe. Let's see, is that good? Hopefully that's enough. And then I'm gonna put on individual origins and I'm gonna scale in the X. It's gonna pull them in towards the center. That'll give a bit of more of a bevel, um, but also bevel the ends as well. All right, so these end gones here, but that won't be a problem. Control B and we'll put one, two segments like that. And then I should be able to hit smoothing. Oh, we do have some, oh, well, you know what? I'll try edge split and that'll clean it up and they're not gonna see it from very close up at, at all. Uh, let's see what that looks like. All right, so let's uh, let's just put one there, and let's uh, mirror this with respect to the top there, and we'll apply that. And I'll go in, and I'll um, yeah, I'll just copy this and place it into the middle, as close to the middle as I can. So I get that. Let's bring everything back and see what it looks like. Okay, in the here I want I need to do some more work. Yeah, it's miles away from where I need it. I need that much closer to the top. That one will go up. Hopefully that's done what I needed to do. Okay. I don't know if that separation is enough or what. You know what, I might just bring in another edge loop here and take this one and we'll GY. Let's to do that. Let's see if that's nice enough. Um, just want them to be able to see down there a little bit. 
Okay. How's that? That might be it, folks. Okay. So, um, I've got my camera and stuff on the second layer. Look through, save. I'm gonna give this a little test render and we'll come back. Actually, I just had one more idea before we do this. And that was, maybe I could take that, bring it down. Let's get rid of, get rid of this piece here. And, uh, what did I do? Hang on a second here. That piece, bring it, let's bring it out here. Let's get rid of that piece and take this, push it back a ways. And in front view, let's uh, go in a wireframe. And maybe I could, first of all, scale this in the Z a bit and then Take all of this and delete those faces. I can delete that. Yeah. Good enough. Get rid of that edge. Let's see where we're at with this. Okay, we'll do a bit more here. Ah, that was a bad way of doing it. <laughs> all right, as usual. Okay, front view. Let's go to vertex. Get rid of all that stuff. I was thinking of putting that in there, and then maybe I would take this and move it down to the middle position, more of the middle position, and then make sure that it's making contact. I don't know. I just thought it would, it would look a little bit better. Make sure that this is in. And I see a bit of this and that. Yeah, okay. Stop fiddling. Let me think. Ah, well, let's, uh, let's give that a try. And then we'll come back. Cool, well, here's my upright sort of old-fashioned piano with the wood paneling and all and you got the hinges up there so I guess this can flip up and my silly pedals there but anyways that was a lot of fun to do so thank you very much for watching we'll see you next time